Tim Stewart is the president of the U.S. Gas and Oil Association. We're honored to be joined by him tonight. Tim, thanks so much uh, for coming on. So, you know, to, to someone who's not in the business, as you are selling off an asset like this and allowing it to be sold to China seems like criminal, honestly. You know, Tucker, you articulate it better than just about anybody. Uh, the, the question, I think, to, to answer that question, we have to ask ourselves, how did we get here in the first place? Yes. How did we replace one bad policy with another bad policy? How did we go from being the, the world's energy superpower, being number one in oil and gas and coal and, and, and geothermal and second in wind and solar, to shaking the tin cup to the Saudis and, and not even being able to track where, where our strategic petroleum reserve releases end up. It's, it's really quite, it's, it's quite disconcerting, isn't it? I, I would say it's really important to know that the, the exploration production companies were not supportive of the strategic petroleum reserve release. Why didn't we just, why weren't we allowed just to open up the spigot of what we're already doing versus shutting that off and, and, and tapping into the, the nation's credit card? It really is, it's quite frustrating. I got to be honest, I've talked to uh, most of the people who run the oil and gas companies, and they all act like, you know, they're selling cigarettes to kids. They're always a little bit embarrassed. Oh, it's oil and gas, but really we're about green energy. Why don't they step up in public and say, without us, this is an impoverished country. This is Central Africa. You need us in order to stay solvent and like make some noise and fight back. Well, we and we're trying to, you know, that that tweet that the president sent out on on Saturday was uh, we had a response where, you know how it is, you know, Twitter is sort of an exercise in futility. There are thousands and thousands of people who think that they're experts in oil and gas because they re they retweet something that some celebrity does, and and so we've avoided it. But we we saw that tweet come across and and it just sort of struck a nerve, and so we so we did our best to kind of call call the BS on on the White House and say. Look, somebody's got to go back and look at economics here. Yeah, I mean, we, I mean, it is over if we get rid of fossil fuels. That's just true, and I wish we could stop lying about it. Tim Stewart, I appreciate your coming on tonight. Thank you. Thank, thanks for having me on. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.